Okay, uh, my name is Mark Collins, and uh, what I'm attempting to do here today is to demonstrate uh, uh, a, a stereo uh, output on the guitar instead of a mono output. Um, I brought some meters and some uh, uh, some of the components to the guitar that we, we can demonstrate later uh, exactly how I reconfigured the, uh, the output. How long ago did you start working on this? Well, actually, uh, the idea came to me about about seven, eight years ago, and uh, uh, I took apart a, a guitar that I had. There, there's a you can lift off these pick guards and you can get into the wiring, uh, and I just switched out uh, the mono quarter inch jack to a, a stereo quarter inch jack mm -hmm. and uh, from there um, innovations have been coming to me uh, one of the things I did with, with this guitar in particular was to remove the five-way switch and and reconfigure the, uh, the way I hook these pickups up where these two white ones are, are to the two tone controls that are that are in the center here and, uh, and this black pickup is on the, the ring uh, connector to the stereo output. So that these two are in parallel and you can blend how much of each pickup you want to hear. Uh, in other words, you can turn one all the way down and the center pickup will still be on. And turn up the uh, this lead pickup. It has, has a little sharper sound because it's closer to the bridge. The closer to the bridge you get, the, the sharper the sound. Yeah, and on my audio recorder, I can really see the difference in the output. Can, can, can you see that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Or you, you can blend a combination of, of both pickups. That's one thing you can't do on, on a stock guitar from the uh, from the manufacturer. You, you can't blend each pickup in the amount that that is being uh, sent to your amplifier uh, because of the way. They hook up the this is the volume pot. The way they hook it up is so that your your input line goes to ground. And once that goes to ground, it doesn't matter which pickup configuration you have, you're not going to hear anything. But what what I did was to connect the output line that goes to your amplifier to, to one of the hops on, on the uh, on the volume control and use the variable terminal on the pickups so that I can blend either pickup in the amount that I want to. Um, and that's different from what you did initially, isn't it? Yes, that this is a, an innovation that I came up with uh, uh, during the summer, this past summer. But, but it enables me to, uh, to remove the five-way switch because all that does is is connect both pickups in parallel together and you can't vary how much of each pickup you're hearing, you're actually hearing. Mm -hmm. Okay, because it's, 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 it's what they call a half tone and, and it's, it's both pickups combined and if you turn one of the pickups all the way to the ground, both of them are going to go to the ground. But the way I rewire it is kind of opposite the way it comes from the manufacturer so that you can blend uh, you can have all three pickups if you wanted to, all, you know, on a mono line, and, and blend how much of, of amount of each pickup you wanted to. But because I'm using a stereo output, this black pickup up here I put onto one channel. That's all by itself. That's 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 this this uh, the amp in the center. <laughs> You don't hear that. That's this pickup. 
Then I can blend, say, this, this center pickup. I can adjust the amount of how much lead I, I want to add to that. With, with all pickups uh, full up, you get the half tone position which, which comes from the manufacturer. Uh, or you, know, you, can, you can dial one down a little bit. Your car has three pickups, right? This one has three pickups. Right. Yeah. And you are they all three independent now with your knobs? Or? The two white ones are in parallel okay. on on the, the tip channel. So if I were to plug in a mono jack mm -hmm. in just one amp, uh, these two would be in parallel. Right. And this one you wouldn't hear. This this would ground out because it goes on to the ring uh, connector. And the difference is that with the switch, both of these are, are full up when, you, when they're connected full up. Mm -hmm. By reversing the way you, you connect this, this this volume pot, so that the input from from your amp instead of going to the variable terminal and, and all the way to ground or full up to the pickup. You put that on the hot lead, where your pickup would be, uh -huh. and you connect the pickup to the center terminal, so you can blend how much of each pickup you, you want to hear. It's just a simple change that the, it eliminates the need for the, for the switch, and you have a, a, a mix of how much pickup, where well, you don't have that with the switch, it's just right. yeah, both of them full up, or, or, or one, one single. Uh, yeah, I mean, the sound you're getting is really amazing. How about if you just play for a few minutes, just okay. to let us listen to, to what you can do.
guitarist here now. I have another guitar. Okay, the, the way this guitar was set up is these two switches that are going up and down. Okay, the other switches are going sideways. Okay. Two switches are going up and down, and two are going sideways. Mm -hmm. First off, this one here, this larger one, switches between the neck pickup and the bridge pickup, whichever way is pointing. And this switch here in the center, which I had to make an addition to the guitar to put this switch in, is, is a mode switch. A what switch? Mode, M-O-D-E. Okay. Okay, so that if it's facing out, away from, you know, from the guitar, the configuration is the two, the two output lines, the two stereo output lines are connected so that one pickup goes to one channel and the other pickup goes to the other channel. And with these, with these two uh, uh, humbucker switches, you can change them either, either one from a single coil to a, to a double coil configuration. So you can have two humbuckers, one on, on the ring channel, one on the tip channel, or you can have one single coil and the other one a humbucker, or you can have both same coil, single coils. So that's like four different variations. Well, that, that's, that's one mode. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, the other mode, when it's pointing towards this switch here, it just kicks this switch in. Uh, the other way, this switch is ineffective. It doesn't do anything. Okay. Okay, but when you switch it this way, what happens is, if it's, if, if it's pointing out, it, it's this pick up here, and you have each single coil going to each channel, and you're not hearing anything at all from this other pickup. Can you understand that? That's why I said that again? When the mode switch is, is, is towards this, this main toggle, yeah. okay, both single coils are individual. Okay. And one goes to one, one, of, your, one of your channels, and the other one goes to the, to the other channel. One's to the tip, one's to the ring. So one pickup isn't being used? Yes, this one's completely out. Okay. But this switch here, to flip it over so the same configuration is using this pickup. And then the other one switched out. And this one's, this one's, is, is you won't hear. Okay. Okay. But these have to be in the single coil uh, uh, position. Because if you put them in a humbucker position, you're actually adding the two pickups together and one channel is not going to be heard. Okay. So, but if, if you have it in the, the, uh, the single coil position where it's split, you have two channels with one coil apiece. Can, can you understand that? Yeah. And you can switch from either this pickup or this pickup. All right. Depending on this mode switch. Uh, I mean this uh, uh, pickup switch. If you turn this mode switch the other way, like, like, like I began with, what you have is one humbucker on one channel and the other humbucker on the other channel. Mm -hmm. And you can have, like I said, you said a four-way configuration where you're doing one coil or both coils on either pickup. It's a lot of wiring, but it's 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 effective. I'll, I'll turn the thing on now. All right.
PX4, and the other is uh, what they call a stomp, a Pandora right. stomp. They're both made by Korg, K-O-R-G. And what effect do you have them on? Well, the effects I, I, I make up myself. Mm -hmm. uh, there's, there's seven effects that you can change, that you can chain together. Okay. Uh, you, have a, you have an amp model, you have a cabinet model, you have uh, delays, reverbs, modulation. Uh, Sounds like you're using some delay or reverb, no? And, and, you, and what you've got set up, there's some reverb or, or yeah, delay? Yeah, well, there's, there's like, you know, ten different reverbs. Mm -hmm. There's, uh, and you can vary the amount and how much. In this. So, I take time and I, I tweak the effects. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I can't really remember because one has like 50 different user effects that you can use. The other has 200. Mm -hmm. And I'm nowhere, nowhere near able to, you know, to remember, you know, what all the effects sound like. But when I'm not in my apartment, I'm playing low, I can tweak the effects so that I, 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 I like what I'm hearing. Mm -hmm. And then go back later and try to match the two together. Some of them match, some of them don't. Uh, there's, there's pitch changes. You can make one note come out uh, in a harmonic uh, version, like a, an octave apart mm -hmm. or a fifth apart. There's all kinds of different effects to use. Now I have another box, which is a hardwire. One of the things I like about the hardwire, which I'm able to do, is it has a, a reverse pin. Now, what the reverse does is actually take your guitar signal and play it back backwards. Huh. Okay? Now, if you were to try to do that with just, with just one pedal, you couldn't understand what you were playing because it would just be like a drone effect. But because I have two pickups playing, I can use this box to essentially sound like a drone effect in the background, the, the reverse. The reverse channel. I think the first time I heard you playing, you were using that. I, I was using that. Let me hook this thing up. Because it's, it's a nice effect, but you have to play it in conjunction with, with another uh, effect that's going forward so you can hear what you're playing.
walk my foot up into the, uh, in the puppy in. And after the first set, the lady asked me to stop playing because she had a dinner crowd and she said that the sound was disturbing the people from, from, from their dinner, which, which was like they were in a different room. But she, she said, you know, don't get me wrong, it, it sounds good, but my, my, my people who are eating dinner are complaining. Yeah, because it, it was. You've got some feedback going on there. Yeah, well, it, it, it's, it's because of uh, this guitar is a, a little bit different the way I configured it. Also, when, like I was saying, when, when you reverse the way you hook up these pots, okay, the reason that they hook the, the input channel from your amp to, to the variable is so when you turn it down and goes to ground, you don't hear that hum. Mm -hmm. Okay, the way I hook it, hook it up, if you turn both pickups off, the, the input line is, is just like an open cord, like if you just plug the cord into, into your amp and it's not attached to anything. Mm -hmm. That's why it makes the hum and that's why manufacturers don't, don't make them that way. But when you're playing guitar, you, you're using the pickups and you're not using the guitar in an off position. So I'm able to, to switch the input line to the hot position on the pot so that the only time you're going to hear that hum is when, when both of these are down. Okay. Okay. When I turn the pickups full up, the hum disappears. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. You want to give us a few minutes with this, with your, um, your reverse pedal there? <laughs> sound out. So you're not hearing anything that I'm playing except from, from the other the other system that I'm using. Okay, and so it, it, it gives you the another thing you can do is hook up two wah wah pedals. If I if I had two pedals, effect pedals, instead of just having one, I could use both feet like like a, a drummer who has a double bass. Mm -hmm. You can do that too. That, that, that's a nice effect and that that you're not able to do if you have just a mono line out because uh, yeah. you'll have two pickups, I mean two uh, expression pedals on the same line and, and it just won't sound the same as two separate two separate channels. So there are a lot of advantages to having the, um, yes. the, the thing separate. In, in, a, in a stereo uh, output configuration. <laughs>
combine uh, I have four switches in this guitar I had to drill a hole to put in this this, this fourth switch mm -hmm. uh, this this guitar originally had four uh, volume uh, a volume and a tone and a volume and a tone right but I'm using the, the two holes for you know for the two tone controls for switches and this switch instead of a three-way uh, an up and down three-way switch like I said which right. which which in the center both pickups are half tones. It's a, just a two-way toggle, mm -hmm. and depending on how you hook it, I mean how you set it up, is 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 how you're going to use it. Now this guitar is is set up just to use in a stereo configuration. Now, in other words, if I wanted to plug in a mono jack, all I'm going to get is half of the guitar. Oh, okay. you know, one channel is just not going to operate. But on that other guitar, if I was to plug in just a mono jack, I would get the two pickups, the two white pickups that were on that guitar, in parallel, and I can blend either one. Now, I can't do that on this guitar because that would take another switch. To, that would have to switch it over to a, a parallel effect. These are running, uh, the, the single coils are running, actually there's, there's four coils and they're running in series, mm -hmm. so that this switch here switches it from just using one pickup to adding the other pickup in a series configuration. That you can see on the meter. Right. If, it, if, huh? it looks to me like that your second, your newer version is sort of a simpler interface than this one with all the switches. Is that, is that true? Yes, it is. And it has to do with, with the ability to change from a bassy sound, which is up by your neck, to a, a treble sound, which is down by your bridge. Okay. Okay. So that you can blend in how much bass and how much treble from each pickup you're, you're amplifying. And the way it comes from the manufacturer with the five-way switch, all you're able to do is to switch. Uh, there's three single coil positions, and the two in-between uh, 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 positions just combine the neck and the middle pickup or the bridge and the middle pickup mm -hmm. in, in, in a half tone configuration. So by eliminating that switch and reverse wiring the pots, I'm able to dial in how much of a bassy sound from the neck pickup and how much of a treble sound from the, from the bridge pickup. Mm -hmm. I can show you on the meter. Okay. You, um, want, you, want, you want to get a close up on, on, on the meter, but I can show you how, how it dials in on that other. These two white pickups are in parallel and they're connected to these two volume pots. Right. All right. When one pickup is up by itself and the other one's turned down, the meter reads 4K. All right. All right. When you dial up the other pickup, because they're in parallel, it, it lowers the resistance down to 2K. And you can blend how much, how much it lowers it by, by adjusting the dial. You can't, you can't do that when, when the switch has them both, both full up. And, and the difference in resistance effect makes what happen? What's the effect of that? Well, how, how much amplification of each pickup is, is actually reaching your amplifier depends on the resistance. Right. Okay, when, when, when one of them is full up, it, it, it is 4K. All right. When two of them are, are full up, it reads, uh, it reads 2K. Mm -hmm. 
So it lowers the ohmage going into your amplifier, and it sounds a little lower too, right. uh, audibly. But you're having a mix of a bassier pickup and a treble pickup. So the tone, you can adjust the tone uh, in, in fine degrees. Now, I use a lot of effects, and it's hard to hear. But if you had just a straight amp, mm -hmm. you would hear the difference in tone. Uh, now, there's no reason to use a switch because you're able to dial in how much of each pickup you actually want to hear. Right. If, if you just want to hear the center pickup, you turn down the bridge pickup, which mm -hmm. is this one here. Right. And you, you're just using your, your, your tone pickup. Now, the reason this needle, this needle goes this way over to infinity is because I reverse wired the, the pots. Mm -hmm. Okay? So, and that's where you get the hum. The, the hum comes in because it, it's, 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 it's basically an open, an open lead. Okay. That, that's not connected to anything. But as soon as you, you kick in, you kick in the, uh, the pickups, it eliminates that hum. Now, this black pickup is on a ring. Okay, now that I have wired the way the factory puts them out. See, now it goes to zero. That's because this is all the way down. As I bring this up, the resistance increases, and then it, it gets lower again to the, to the 4K position, which is this full up. So it went from zero to infinity back to... Well, to not what? actually to infinity, but to the 500K, which, which, which is, pot is rated for, okay? Uh, okay. And then, and then all the way down, the input, this, this ring input is, is grounded, and you won't hear any hum. But as you bring it up, more and more of this pickup gets louder and louder and louder until it gets full, full volume right there mm -hmm. at, at 4K. That's the way the factory runs it. But the way I hook up these two that are in parallel, you're, you're, you're not going to get that, that ground from the input. What you're going to get is the needle will go over to, to the 500K, mm -hmm. which, which is what the pots are rated for, and that's where you pick up a little bit of hum. But, you know, you're not playing the guitar w with the input. Everything turned down, right. Everything's right. turned up. So that's the difference in this guitar. Now, the other guitar, and that's, I can show you the switches on that. Sure, that'd be great. Uh, using that effect that I just demonstrated. This guitar here, it's, it's, for, a stereo, right it's for a stereo output only. All right, yeah. and, uh, okay. In this mode here, the tip is connected to the, to the lead pickup, which is either, which is either, this is a humbucker, and it's up to, uh, it's up to about 8, 9K, or a single coil, which drops down to 3.5K. Okay. Okay, that, this is how uh, a, a switch would work on, on the other one. It would either be, you know, uh, a, a full up, which is, mm, looks to be about 8, 9K, uh -huh. Which is both of these in series. They're not in parallel. Those are in parallel. These are in series. Right. So they're just they're just adding together. That that's a single coil, and, and and the other the other coil is just not connected. When you when you switch it on, it goes there. Now in the ring, it's the same way. Where this 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 switch here is is humbucker or single coil. Okay. All right. And, and I also have the dials, which which adjust uh, the the volume. Now, the other way to run this guitar is to have both uh, both single coils connected 
uh, one to each channel. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that that that's one pickup, and this is the other one. Hold on, let me see. Yeah. This one here, single, single. That's one. Oh yeah, the other one's on, 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 on the other the other the other uh, line. One's on the tip, one's on the ring. Right. So you have a single, single on the tip, and a single on the ring. Mm -hmm. uh, going out. And you can have this is the lead pickup. This is this is the same thing on, on the uh, the neck pickup. Single and a single. And if I was to switch, say this neck neck pickup to a uh, to a humbucker. The one, the one channel goes out, and the other one is still a single coil. Because, oh, okay. Yep. Because I, I configured it different. So, this guitar is made to, you know, to, to run with, with using a, a stereo output. The other guitar can use either a stereo or a mono output. Uh, in mono, you're just going to use two pickups, the two white ones, in, in, a, in a, a stereo configuration, and you get the third, the, the black pickup. And that's that's all by itself on a single channel, which is a volume control. Great. Well, thank you for taking the time to come in and share this with me, and um, I'm looking forward to putting this on uh, BCTV. Yeah.